What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars achievement guide. This time we're doing two achievements at once. We're doing Living Loving Bug and Freak on a Streak. Living Loving Bug is get a scarab during a reinforcement game. And Freak on a Streak is gain at least 15 population from a single wave in a reinforcement game. So by getting a scarab, you'll actually get the other one. A scarab is actually worth 20 population, so you'll easily cover the 15 population required from a single wave to get the Freak on a Streak achievement. So let's focus on getting that Scarab during a reinforcement game. Start up a game of 1v1 reinforcements on any map. Uh, I just chose Blood Gulch because why not? It's a classic. And you can do this against a friend or you can do it against an easy AI. The easy AI is very uh, easy to deal with. Imagine that. And uh, they probably won't be able to take out your base or anything while you're trying to get this Scarab. But you could easily do it with a friend if you want to party up with a friend and you guys could both just not bother each other while you both try to get Scarabs. So what Reinforcements is, is basically a game mode where you don't have to worry about your economy or your research level, or your tech level. So basically to start, obviously you want to use one of the three Covenant Leaders, because they're the only ones who could get a Scarab. And you want to use Regret, and I'll show you why you want to use Regret in a little bit. But build a temple right away, so you get the Prophet of Regret to deploy onto the field for you, and then just build all supply pads, or uh, warehouses in this case, because it's Covenant. So they're called Blessed Warehouses, the souped up supply pads. And then slowly and surely you could go take over the second additional base that's in front of your base, uh, which is occupied by insurgents at the start of the match, but slowly just take them out. And you'll want to upgrade your ages so you get a tech level of 3. And you basically just want to collect all the resources you need to build a scarab. So you can see the countdown timer, it's like, it's always between like 30 seconds and 2 minutes, it'll count down. And at the end of that countdown, whatever resources you have, it'll actually build units for you at random. So if you only have 50 supplies at the time, it'll only provide you with something that's worth 50 uh, supplies. Uh, there's nothing that's worth 50 supplies in this game, but you get what I'm saying. So a scarab is worth 3,000 supplies, you need a tech level of 3, that's why you want to upgrade your ages. And you also need a population of 20 available. So you can see there's the population cap, which is currently at 40. You could increase it to 50 if you research a certain uh, researchable thing. But there's no need to do that. You could do it if you'd like. So basically you need 20 or less uh, population already taken up by your units. So you can allocate at least 20 to the Scarab that's hopefully incoming. So 20 population, 3,000 supplies, and a 3 tech level. You need all those things in order for you to have the possibility of a Scarab to be deployed when that countdown timer reaches zero. So some things that I do when the countdown timer is approaching zero and I don't have the required supplies, or I won't have the required supplies by the time it hits zero, I'll actually start building a bunch more stuff, like turrets on my base and researching a bunch of stuff, so it eats up all those supplies, so that when the countdown does hit zero and the units are deployed, uh, it doesn't use up all those resources. Yes, I have just allocated those resources to build more stuff, but once it hits zero and it resets to another countdown timer, I actually go just cancel everything I just queued up, so then I get all those resources back. So it makes the climb to 3,000 resources a lot easier. So that's a way you could kind of protect your supplies from just being randomly selected to build a bunch of ghosts or something that you don't even want. Your tech level never goes down, so there's no need to protect that in any way. It'll always be at 3 once you research the two additional ages in the beginning of the match. But the other thing you need to protect is your population cap. So obviously as these uh, countdowns are hitting zero, you're getting more units. So you may go over 20 at one point, and you won't have the 20 population space available. So you need to kill some units or somehow get them to go die or something. That's why we use the Prophet of Regret. We could just use the Prophet's Cleansing Beam. Just hit Y above those units as if you're attacking them. And there actually is friendly fire. Regret can't kill himself with the Cleansing Beam, but he could kill all his other friendly units. So use that to your advantage. And don't worry, there's no chance of those friendly AIs coming and beating the crap out of you like there is in other Halo games. Eventually they just turn on you and start killing you. But that does not happen in this game. So you could safely kill your units to get under that 20 level or 20 population cap again. And that way you'll have at least 20 population available for your hopefully soon to be scarab. So once you meet all these requirements, the 3,000 supplies, the 3 tech level, and the at least 20 population available, what the game gives you is totally random, unfortunately. So you could go through multiple waves of these countdowns and you don't get a scarab. You could just get a bunch of wraiths or a bunch of ghosts and banshees or whatever common of units add up to those resources that you've just given the game to randomly choose and purchase something. 
It's kind of like George and Jane Jetson in that opening sequence where George hands out a single unit of money, and she ends up taking his whole wallet and goes and buys God knows what. So that's pretty much what's happening here. You're George, and the game is Jane, and you have no idea what she's going to buy. It could be a scarab, it could be a bunch of ghosts, who knows. Hopefully she knows what she's doing and she gets you the scarab the first time. Don't have to bring all those ghosts and wraiths back to Walmart because she bought the wrong thing. But eventually I do get the scarab and the achievement will pop. It didn't because I recorded this in the original 360 version, which I already had the achievement for. But rest assured, clearly I got the scarab, so that has gotten us the living loving bug achievement and it will also get us the freak on a streak achievement like i mentioned earlier in the video so that is it for this one guys thank you very much for watching click like and subscribe leave a comment follow me on twitter at halo completion and on twitch at silver scorpion 4 and i'll see you guys later for more halo achievements